So Keras was one of the first oncogenes ever discovered in human cancers. And yet today we don't have a drug against Keras. And why is that? Well, it's a very uh, hard target to drug with traditional approaches. Keras is a very strong driver for malignancy. So clearly we know that we understand the oncogen. It's easy to test. It's routinely being tested in the clinic, but we don't have a way to target it. With messenger RNA, we have a terrific opportunity to finally drug this target by way of generating messenger RNA that would code for mutations. The body would then become its own manufacturing plant, make those antigens, naturally present it to the immune system, and then encourage T cells to look at the other cells that would be presenting with those mutations and selectively target those cells for destruction. So we've learned over the past uh, decade or so that if you want to harness the immune system to treat cancer, it's all about the T cell. It's the one cell in the body that can recognize cancer. Now imagine if you could leverage what we know about mRNA technology, which is the unique ability to stimulate T cells by expressing the antigen from within. Now if we could combine that with a checkpoint inhibitor, there's a potential that we could activate the immune system and then amplify it so that patients with, whose cancers have a KRAS mutation can benefit in the same way as other patients today benefit from checkpoint inhibitor. That would be a very novel and potentially very powerful way to harness the immune system, the patient's own body, to treat cancer.